This channel is made possible by viewers like you. My viewers, subscribers, and patrons greatly help to keep this channel going. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for all of you. Please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any uploads. And if you'd like to go the extra mile, please check out my Patreon page. For just a dollar a month, you'll get access to what I'm working on, previews of upcoming content, and even early videos, along with other tier options for those that are interested. Thank you, and now on to the video. So the new Dragon Age is coming out. Will it be a return to form? I have no idea. I have not played the game yet, but I have been seeing footage thrown around on social media that has me greatly concerned. You take one look at this and pretty much see what has become a huge problem within the big AAA video game writing space. I saw this one screenshot and I was like, what a way to current day your game in the worst possible way. You know you can say that some things are of their time and still be great. Like look at some of the older James Bond films or even some of the games. The Russians were the bad guys. It was set during the Cold War. To play something of its time like that almost feels like a fun period piece of sorts. You have to see language that is being debated about today and then pushed upon us. That doesn't seem to be something that anyone would want to revisit, nor is it something that I really want infecting my fantasy or honestly any kind of entertainment. To make a big statement as seen here, like am I going to use they over she or honestly whatever, this fantasy world is not our world and it's using some of the same language that we see on a daily basis, especially if you're on social media. It feels like an extremely lazy way to bring up this topic for discussion in this game. I look at this the same way how much of modern Star Trek does their social commentary, very badly. Unless you're talking about Picard Season 3, that was wonderful. But like with old Star Trek, they would come up with creative ways to present their commentary, even in many cases offering different points of view and exploring them. The topic could be used as a vehicle of discussions on different things. It wouldn't be so specific and on the nose that it would current day themselves to the point of it being like, was there any creativity actually put into trying to explore this topic? Like look at the X-Men, they are a bunch of outsiders, and then there's a lot of interesting discussions you can have surrounding them. Whether it's how you look different because you happen to have glasses like Cyclops, or if you want to talk about something related to the civil rights movement. You can have social commentary even on topics that people feel strongly about one way or another, but you need to do it in a creative manner and make it work as part of the universe. If it feels forced, this is where most intelligent people will just jump off entertain well, and then work in a clever way to discuss this stuff. In the case of the new Dragon Age game, why not introduce a new race? Maybe there is something related to the lore of that race that has them only having one gender, or maybe none, or something else. Come up with new in-lore words that relate to that race and their history, and why gender might be something interesting to explore with that race. I know I'm speaking just vaguely and conceptually here, with no specifics, but part of that is that I'm just brainstorming, and honestly to write something compelling and interesting is really hard to do, but it felt like the Bioware writers here put in the minimal amount of effort as it relates to entertaining and then went full force on inserting this stuff in there. It feels hacky, pushy, and like the development team just wanted to check a box then actually explore it in a meaningful way. I know that old Bioware could actually do this because they had some interesting stuff related to this in some of the Mass Effect games. I had concerns about this game even looking back to the character creation. I do not really understand why you need to have the option to select your own pronouns here. If you're a man and you want to play as a girl, then select a girl. Ideally for people who are transitioning, the end goal is to fully transition, right? So having the pronoun selection feels more like a social media checkbox rather than it actually making any sense here. Like I haven't played the game, maybe this stuff is actually well done and the clips and screenshots I have seen are totally out of context. I could be completely wrong and let me know if I am way off base here. But I have seen this sort of stuff in games a lot and it all stems from the same modern writing stuff where agenda is then placed above actually entertaining your audience. I do want to clarify too that this doesn't mean that I don't think that you can have progressive stuff in your games, or even more importantly, playing and enjoying a game that you may disagree with, some of its points or even messages. First it needs to entertain the player, make it a fun game, whatever the game ends up being, and then when delivering or even exploring the message, how it is done, that is the most important part. Like just when you take a concept for a game or a piece of entertainment, any crazy idea, even a bad idea, through good execution can probably turn it into something enjoyable. But you have to have the talent to actually accomplish this. Old Bioware was able to do this. Jade Empire was one of the first games I remember having a gay romance option within the game. It wasn't thrown in your face or pushed upon you, but rather found out and then explored if you wanted to. 
by making certain choices and then really diving in deep with some of the characters. Jade Empire is easily one of my favorite games, if not my favorite Bioware game too. Clearly a lot of these people are not working there anymore, or even in the industry in some capacity. I miss when stuff was about entertaining the player first and foremost, over just pushing a progressive agenda. And I say all this as a big Bioware fan myself. My first game of theirs was Knights of the Old Republic, and then I have played every game that they have released since then. I have enjoyed all of them, even Anthem. Yes, I really like the movement and combat within that game a lot. It needed a lot of work to revamp it, but it was still fun. One of my first videos on this channel was actually defending Andromeda as well. Again, I had a lot of issues here, but there was also a lot of stuff that I really enjoyed too. Then when I look back to their older stuff, like I mentioned Jade Empire, a game that would highly benefit from a remaster so that more players could play it today. What a gem, and one of the best games found on the original Xbox. So I've been someone in their corner for a while, but a lot of the early marketing for Dragon Age had me worried, and then I saw some of the leaks. And you gotta remember too, it's all hearsay before you can actually play or even see the game. But I have seen enough of this happen a bunch throughout the years, with other games, like say The Last of Us Part 2 being a good example. And I didn't think in this instance it was going to go well either, where this title seems more like a soft reboot for the series than an actual sequel. Modern writing is killing gaming. This progressive agenda stuff is part of the problem, and putting agenda over entertainment. But related to this is where you have writers infiltrating legacy series and fan bases to then write their own stories to push their stuff, then actually respecting what came before them. This is happening with big film series and even games as well. There are sequels being made that sadly do not respect the characters they originally set up, too busy being focused on subverting expectations, bringing down the core hero to then build up a side character to take their place. We see this all too often, whether it was with Spider-Man 2 or The Last of Us Part 2. This stuff, all of it, is killing stories. Us players want to get invested in a tale, follow a set of characters, or better yet, control them through their challenges and obstacles, being a part of all of that growth, both witnessing it and then actually controlling it. It's interactive, so you could argue that it feels even more personal for the player to go on those journeys than actually just watching it from a show or film. So when gamers voice their opinions like this, they are passionate and very vocal when it comes to stuff they don't like, and then highly praise what they love as well. There's a lot of problems with in the AAA industry, but if they don't want to keep sinking, then I would recommend that they start getting people who actually want to make video games and actually love the medium as part of their development teams in there. We need the marriage between the passion of a fan and the talent of a skilled developer. And hey, I haven't played Dragon Age Valgard yet. Maybe it's great, maybe I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'll admit it. But when you see the red flags and care about the medium, I feel compelled to speak on it. What are your thoughts on the whole situation? Are you a fan of Dragon Age? Were you looking forward to the new one? What are your thoughts on entertainment and agenda? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please check out my Patreon page. For just a dollar a month, you can help to keep this channel going strong, and this allows me to be able to do more for my awesome audience. Please check out the links in the description and pinned comment for ways to support the channel. And most of all, thank you very much for watching.